Make America great again. That's where we're going today. <laughs> All right, so we're on our way to a Trump rally right now. And uh, can you sense my enthusiasm? I'm really excited. So why am I doing this? Well, how often have you seen hate or discrimination displayed online or through your television? How often have you seen it in real life? How often have you experienced it firsthand? If you're lucky like me, probably not that often. That's why I'm going, for education's sake, to experience a place full of hate, discrimination, and bigotry firsthand. But I'm not going alone. I'm going with Sophia. This is my first political kind of uh, rally or protest, if you will. And I'm not very political, you know, like, I like to know what's going on, but I don't like to necessarily get involved. Sophia, on the other hand, I am very much so involved in transgender rights. I um, am involved in my company's LGBTQ organization, and also I'm on the board of a uh, of a transgender rights and advocacy organization, a, non a nonprofit. So here's the plan today. We're gonna go to the protest. It's four o'clock right now. The rally starts at seven. We're gonna protest for probably, I don't know, two hours and then we're gonna get in line. And we may or may not get into the rally. It's kind of booked. And there's a line that's already stretching probably about a mile, maybe two. So we will be lucky if we can get in. Unfortunately, I can't bring my camera with me. It's not that small. Um, so I have to record on my phone. Switching to phone mode. Hi! <laughs> Alright, this is what the vlog is going to look like from here on out. It's a little bit of a wider angle. That's weird. Hey, let's go to the protest now. Here we go. The answer, obviously, and you've told me, let's yell it again. No! no! And that means no Trump. Trump has consistently maintained his opposition to marriage equality and said he would appoint a Supreme Court judge, maybe two or three, who would be committed to overturning marriage equality, a woman's right to choose, and so many other things that we've fought for generations for. Um, Trump's expressed support for the so-called First Amendment Defense Act. Trump's expressed support for North Carolina's discrimination law, HB2. Trump has made it clear he would not enforce federal civil rights laws to ensure transgender Americans are treated equally under the law. In Washington state, we successfully prevented I-1515, another discrimination law, to even make the ballot. I-15 would have put Washington, league, Washington in the league with North Carolina, Mississippi, and Indiana. Bigotry is bad for business. We're walking to the arena at this point, and uh, after a big protest and rally that we had, now we're gonna march and get in trouble, and I'm sure the police are gonna love us here. Gentlemen, no, there's no gentlemen that exists. F-U-C-K me till we don't exist That's why we play you that song on your hips And then down to your thighs with the tightest of grips Your body gets slammed till you lose consciousness We're comfortably done with the brightest of trips If life was a poem then it's written by lips But I'm hard as a soldier that love shit is dead who just stuttered over their own words and couldn't say anything. It's really been a cool experience. I've never done anything like this before. I've seen like multiple people out this way fighting and the police breaking things up. I've seen people having casual like open conversations, very like cordial. There is a, actually there's a, there's a thing going on over here. We don't need Trump. Hillary Clinton protest. 
Do I protest Hillary Clinton? No, no. no. Hey, but it's our no, right. We will. Well, I guess we, you have a right, right to say right. we do. And this started out as a casual conversation, but grew in intensity. And so now there's a crowd gathering. Do you want to put your thoughts on camera? What are you thinking about today? I am thinking that an awful lot of people, for some reason, think that Donald Trump is for LGBTQ people and that um, they think that they're doing LGBTQ people uh, a favor by voting for Donald Trump. And it is, it is very sad for me to learn that. I agree. A lot of people have like a false sense of what Donald Trump is for, and that's really frightening. It's also kind of easy to see it from their side, because like, we are a small group of protesters here. There's not a whole lot of us. And their line was 18 blocks long, and it's still going. And it's like 10 o'clock or something? 9 o'clock? 9 o'clock. That's why it's here in Everett, not Seattle. Yeah. It's just... It's tiring! <laughs> Protests are tiring! My finger's cramping because I held a sign all day. No! <laughs> First world problems. <laughs> Another thing I wanted to say that really surprised me today um, was the fact that not many people knew what homophobia meant. That's scary. The event is over, and there's a large crowd of people going that way, and the people are just pouring out, and everyone's- There's riot police here. And there's riot police here. This is gonna get good. Probably not. Oh, it's been pretty peaceful. Good. We've stationed ourselves in the back because neither of us are here to get injured or hurt or arrested or any of the above. Um, we also saw some tear gas being readied, so we don't want to get into that either. And uh, this is what's going on. So essentially, the protesters are lined up here, the door is right here, and they're funneling people like this. And so they have to walk past this whole group of people here before they can, like, get to safety. And so that's where we're concerned about is this line right here, not anything else. And we're just kind of back here watching this line. All right, back to the big camera. So we left, oh, I don't know, 10 minutes ago, and the crowd just kind of kept getting bigger and bigger. So Sophia was like, let's just leave. I was like, good idea. Um, yeah, so now we're, we're headed back. I don't know if it is gonna be, uh, if it's gonna get dangerous or anything like that, but we're not gonna stick around to find out. So yeah, this was a really uh, eye-opening experience for me. I've never done anything like this before, and uh, it was kind of cool just to be like a part of it. Um, I think I mentioned it once already, but it was just amazing how much, how uh, how many ignorant people there are, like. You engage with somebody and and it's like they don't have a rebuttal. And like, I didn't have too much to say, but like, there were some people who attacked me personally and not necessarily the movement. And of course I turned it around and made it about like Trump or like Hillary. And it was just like, I would say something and then they would just walk away from me because I didn't know what to do after that. And like that doesn't solve anything. It, there's no communication. There's there's no there's not even a discussion going on. Protests are exhausting. <laughs> All right, I'm closing it off here. Um, this will probably be the last, if not one of the very few political style videos on this channel. I probably won't be doing these like for a very long time if I decide to do another one. Um, I mostly went for the experience and I'm glad I went. So yeah, thanks for watching. Of Oops. course I respond, I respond, um, states do not have the right to discriminate. Like it doesn't matter how much rights they have, they do not have the right to discriminate.